Hello, how are you? How are you? How are you today? Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Hi. ¿Cómo se han portado? Good. <laughs> ¿Me quieren decir, verdad? ¿Cómo se han portado? Esto quiero luz porque no ni quién. Teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, Johnny. Eh, teacher, todavía estoy trabajando, así que le aviso cuando llegue para conectarme. Voy a estar nada más de oyente ahorita. Ay, ay, qué tremendo. Teacher. Así toca. Sí, modo, mire, yo pues todavía estoy trabajando. Teacher, <risa> <risa> gracias, teacher. Bueno, ya está. Estoy mañana, niños. Va, ahí está. Chame de mañana. Estoy toda llena de cables. Sí, ya empecé. ¿Qué? Ok, vaya, hoy sí. Ajá, la luz. Ahí está. Hicimos gran oscuridad. A ver, a ver dónde está la tuya. Ahí está, ahí está. Estamos listos. A ver, cuéntenme qué han hecho. ¿Mm? Sí, hoy sí veo a Marina, muy bien, muy bien. Se me habían dado escondiendo todo esto. Ay, sí, teacher. <risa> Se me habían dado escondiendo estos días atrás. Sí, mire, menos mal que el otro curso va a empezar en enero, porque si hubiese sido en diciembre, no puedo. Sí, me imagino, ¿verdad? Que esto es... Estos días son los más complicados, quizás para... Para todos. todos. Menos para mí, fíjate, porque yo estaba <ríe> suave y en diciembre me voy de vacaciones. <ríe> y ya la agarramos al sol. Hey, yo quiero felicitarlos antes de que cualquier cosa pase y se me olvide. Congratulations. Oh, yo tan feliz. Oye, Marte, ¿verdad? Tan feliz yo ayer, pero así como que, ah, oh, cuando entré a, a recoger las notas, yo digo, bueno, voy a entrar a recoger las notas que ya tengo. Sí, pero wow, cuando entré y voy viendo que todos habían trabajado y estaba todo. 100%. So. 100%. I was like, ya parecía que le molla así. ¿Verdad? Que, miren que los felicito realmente. Y espero lo mismo para la próxima semana. Sí. Mucho pide, teacher. No, pues. Es que, ¿verdad? Díganme los teachers ahí. Si no somos felices cuando entramos a recoger notas. Ya está todo. Y somos las personas más felices del mundo. Porque podemos cumplir con nuestro trabajo así al día. Y así somos felices nosotros y ustedes y los jefes. Ajá. Así es que thank you. Thank you, thank you. ¿Verdad? Y nos, y nos ponemos así las pilas para el otro también. Vaya, vamos a ver Ana Alicia. Ana Alicia. Ana Alicia no tiene. No. 
Angel. Present. ¿Cómo se viven los niños? Mucho mejor, gracias a Dios. Eso. Vamos ahí mejorando. Ya al, al chiquitín, a mi pequeñito de tres años, ya mañana se acaba el tratamiento. Excelente. La mayorcita ya va a mitad, digamos. Cuatro días de tratamiento. Y pues ahí vamos caminando. Por ahí se escucha. Pero ya... Ya es una tos que ya, gracias a ella, ya, ya despegó. Eso, ya despegó y ya, pues ya solo es que ella espectore esa tos. Primero Dios, primero Dios. Gracias a Dios. Sí, gracias, teacher, por estar pendiente. Uno que tiene chiquitos se preocupa, pues, por ellos. ¿Verdad? Porque estén todos bien. Ok, excelente, Ángel. Excelente. Gracias, Ajá. teacher. Ok. Benjamin, are you here? Benjamin, no. Eh, Carlos Ernesto. Carlos. Grace, me aparece solo como Grace. Dice. <ríe> que la computadora no la quiere. Siempre la mete sola como Grace y le faltan los otros dos nombres y apellidos. Vamos a ver, Carlos Ernesto, Carolina, Carolina. Presente, señor. Carolina, eso, Carolina. Daniela María. Daniela, Daniela, Daniela. Por ahí va a aparecer. Daniel, David Alexander. Presente, señor. Excelente, David. Edwin Orlando. Present. Great. Grace. Grace, Grace, ¿dónde está escondida? Grace, Grace, Grace. Por allí. Aide de la Paz. Aide. Isabel. Presente, teacher. Nice. Jonathan. Presente, teacher. Yo me alegro cuando lo veo temprano. Que así se llevan los 120 minutos. Karen Janet. Presente, teacher. Karen. Marina Vanessa. Presente, teacher. Sí, con todo, Marina. Mm. <ríe> Marlene Elizabeth. Marlene. Present teacher. Present teacher. Excelente. Rosa Hilda. Present. Nice. Rosy. Teresa de Jesús. Teresa de Jesús. Ayujía. Teresa. No. Maltra. No. Yuri Alexandra. Present teacher. Ya medio la vi. Ahí está, pues ya la vi. Aristides. Present teacher. Nice. Ya de vacaciones. Todavía no. ¿Dónde quejas? ¿No ya? Are you asking me, teacher? Yeah, you. Ah, eh. Almost, 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 almost. On, on December. On December, I will be on vacation. Okay, so you finish on the 30th of November. Exactly. Okay, great. Now, and you finish with the course. Okay. And Don't forget really? to study, eh? Don't forget to continue studying. Don't no, I, I, will con uh, I will continue study, but I don't know if I can do the exams to advance a little more. I don't know. Mm. I will think about it. Yeah. Let I will think ask. about it. Because if you are our next teacher, maybe I will think to stay. Because <laughs> really, really, I've been I've been learning a lot with you. Okay, but, thank you. Thank you. That's a pleasure. We still don't know who will be the next teacher and what classes we will have. Because if it is until next year, 
that's a long time, right? But we are going to fight for it, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Until the level 18. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that trust. Luis Mauricio. Luis Mauricio, hello. Nahir. Teresa de sure. Hola, Jonathan. Sorry, I, Present, I have a question. Tell me, Jonathan. How many levels has this course? The, uh, they are 15 in total. 15. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. You have Good. beginners, intermediate, and then advanced. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Vamos a ver aquí. Luis Mauricio. Luis Mauricio. Here. No, here. Luis Mauricio. Teresa del Carmen, Jansi Catalina, Jansi, 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 hello. A ver, me andan escondiendo algunos por aquí. Luis Mauricio, ahí está y no me dijo present. Yes, teacher, because, uh, but, uh, when I say present, the signal is, is broke. <laughs> oh, okay, uh -huh. okay. okay. Uh, I'm staying here. <laughs> nice, nice. Teresa del Carmen. No here, Teresa, right? Okay, Jancy. Jancy, Catalina. Voy de regreso. A ver, Teresa de Jesús. Teresa de Jesús. No. Aide, hay una botellita por allá. Aide, no, ¿verdad? Teacher. Ya voy para arriba, Carlos, ya lo llamo de regreso. Voy por Aide, voy de regreso. Grace. Grace. Present teacher. Ah, yo ahí sí lo oí. Va de camino, Grace, todavía. Sí, esperando el bus estoy todavía, teacher. Oh, my goodness. No contesté en la vez anterior porque no había salido de trabajar todavía. Oh. Entonces no podía activar el micrófono cuando me preguntó. Ah, va. Pero mire, aquí voy de regreso. Excelente. Ok. Ok, great. Daniela María. Dani, Dani, Dani. Carlos Ernesto. Pues sí. Presente ya. Nice. Nice, nice. Benjamín. Benjamín. No here. Presente ya. Ah, ah, que ustedes se me esconden cuando lo llamo y no los miro. Ana Alicia. Present teacher, thank you. Sí, excelente. Estamos ya. Va. Ok. Well, cuenten. ¿Qué saben de los hotels ustedes? Hotels. Do you like being on a hotel? Mm? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Of course, right. That's very nice because we don't have to do anything. Very comfortable. <laughs> we don't have to do anything, right? They do everything for us and that's Perfect. Okay. Well, today we are going to talk about hotel facilities and hotel services, right? Check. Here we have some hotel services. For example, <clears throat> when they tell you all an all inclusive resort is a holiday resort. What is holiday? ¿Quién me cuenta qué es holiday? Uh, holiday or yeah, uh -huh. Festival, right? For like for vacations or things like that. That includes a minimum three meals daily, drinks and other services in the price. So they say, okay, well, we will charge you $75 to say something, 
hospital, we will give you breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, daily, right? So, would you say that is cheap? If you pay $75 a day and they give you the three meals? What do you think? It depends, teacher. If you have children, maybe <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> but if you are single as me, maybe uh, it is cheap. If you want to go with friends, right? You want to exactly. go one day of vacation. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely. If you're paying, imagine you have two children, then you pay 75, 75, 75 for you, 75 for your husband and wife, that would be $300 for a night. It's a little expensive. <clears throat> Okay, check. Another we have, but that is an all-inclusive resort, right? A holiday resort that includes everything, all the meals. Most of the hotels do not include all the meals. They include generally two. Yeah, generally two. And for example, in the United States, there are some hotels where they include breakfast, lunch, but not dinner. Dinner, you have to go out and eat it and, and find dinner. There are some other hotels uh, that don't include anything. It's just the only service they offer to you is the drink and some fast drink, and coffee of, and tea, of course, right? That no breakfast, no lunch, no dinner. I was in a hotel a couple of years ago. I went on, an, an, on a scholarship and it was a small hotel. It was very beautiful that it didn't include any food. So no breakfast, no lunch, no dinner. So it had a kitchen. It had a kitchen in each floor. So if you wanted to, you could cook. Also in the, in the room, there was a refrigerator. So you could keep your food. What I did was like my no cooking breakfast, right? No cooking breakfast included a yogurt, some fruit, apples, a fish or pear, cutting pieces, some yogurt, and that was it. That was the no cooking breakfast. Another no cooking breakfast that I that I used to do there was also cereal with milk. <laughs> so like that, I didn't uh, spend my time cooking. What I cooked sometimes was dinner, but no breakfast. But you see, so it has totally the opposite of this one. That was non-inclusive because it didn't include any food, just tea, coffee. There was every day, every morning, you could find in the in the lobby some bottles of apple apple juice and apple like apple pie. Or that was well, not pie exactly, but a kind of apple pastry. So imagine how much apple I ate in those days. <laughs> Because I was eating the fruit, the apple fruit, and the apple juice, and the apple bread. So it was a lot of apple, but of course, I love apple. I have no problem with that. Okay, but that was what it included. And you can have also a bed and breakfast. A bed and breakfast is a private home. So it's like your house, right? The B and B. Uh, you have a private home where guests are provided overnight, overnight accommodation and serve breakfast, but usually no other meals, so just breakfast. So people get there to your house, they usually they do it by phone, right? But they make the reservation by phone and they go to your house. There is a way for them to get the key 
So they get to your house, they sleep there, and the next day they receive breakfast, right? This is a, a good and cheap way of spending a night out or a day and night out of uh, or your area or your country will be too, right? So you say they stay at a bed and breakfast in here, they eat on top. So that's a private home where you can go past the night and the next day you have breakfast. Here in El Salvador, the charge is about $25. Yeah, that's the, the, what people charge for an BRB, right? That's $25, including the breakfast, right? Now we have lobby. The lobby is a large area near the reception. And I put a sentence here. I was waiting in the lobby when I saw her coming to the reception desk. So the lobby, the lobby is an area where you can go sit down. They usually have, in some hotels, they have a couple of books. It depends on the culture, right? Here in El Salvador, I think, you know, <laughs> but in that hotel that I tell you I was a couple of weeks, uh, there were books in the lobby. So you could go to the lobby, get a book and take it to your room and read it. Or you could sit down there in the sofas and there was a small area for you to go sit down and read a book, a thing that I never did. I, I was always trying to visit and to meet the place, right? That there is, a lobby and an area for you to wait for somebody to come or go sit down and read. There were movies, there were books and some other things there to have fun. And then you have the reception desk, right? The reception desk is the, the place where you go and check in when you get to the hotel, yeah? In some hotels, there is also a safe safe en la caja de seguridad, así se llama, ¿verdad? En español. Sí. <laughs> Yo no hablo español. Okay, so there is a safe, and the safe in some places, in that hotel that I tell you, as it was small, the safe was here, in the reception desk. So if you wanted to keep some money, you just went to the, to the, to the reception desk and say, listen, I want you to please keep me this money because I don't want to leave it in the room. As I don't trust leaving it alone in the room, I want to keep it here. So they kept your money in the safe. But as I said, that was, okay, there is some. Okay, so that's why I say in some hotels, in some other hotels, the safe is in the room, right? Okay, and then you have the reception. The reception is a desk at the hotel where visitors or guests are received, right? So good morning, come in, and how many days are you going to stay? Or do you have a reservation and everything? All those uh, conversations happen here at the reception. Yeah. And uh, for example, if you need a Wi Fi, with the Wi Fi, you will see it at the receptionist. So you can go and ask, listen, can I have the Wi Fi passport, password? And they give it to you. In some hotels, this uh, Wi Fi password is charged. So if you say, I want the password of the Wi Fi because I want to use the Wi Fi they charge you an amount of money for that. So it's not free in all the hotels. I don't know here in El Salvador if it is free, but as I tell you in that scholarship, I was in a hotel where the person, the small one, the Wi-Fi was free 24 seven. All day, night, the Wi-Fi was free. But in the other hotel, when we had to go to finish and graduate and everything, the Wi-Fi was not free. And we had, if we wanted Wi-Fi, 
it was about five dollars an hour so it was very expensive then we decided not to have wi-fi better <laughs> because imagine five dollars per hour that was kind of expensive okay then we have a single room single room is a room in a hotel that has a bed yeah just one bed one bed for one adult and it, usually it has a single bed what you call single bed is a bed that is like 120 right una cama individual right that's the one that you will find in a single room and then you have the suite a suite suite no suit right the suite is a number of connected rooms in a hotel forming one living unit this is big right the big thing in some hotels they have like a one room another room so they are connected and there is like a living room and a mini well yeah if it may have a jacuzzi or something else but there is a a, a living it has a living room inside of your room and then one room one room but all of them are part of one okay that would be a suite okay well here i have some other examples of hotel services and later on we will see a couple of pictures check car rental services yeah if you see any word that you don't know ask me okay so you have car rental services, catering services, concierge services, courier services. It, when you want to make this a service or courier service, you have to go to the reception desk to ask for it. Do I have a package? Has a package come for me? And they tell you, yeah, sure, here it is. Or no, no, yet. Okay, or where is it coming from? Who is it going to send it to you? And at the, this courier arrives to the reception, not to your room, right? It gets to the reception. You have a doctor on call. Yeah, that's part of the service that some hotels have. Or oh, they call to taxi for you too, right? They offer that service. So they say, okay, we do not have, um, our own transfer and chauffeur driven limousine service that we can call you a taxi right so you can have that service too then you have a dry cleaning dry cleaning you know what is a dry cleaning right okay then you have in some hotels they may have excursions and guided tours here in if you go to the Miramundo Hotel, you may have a question or you can have a guided tour. They take you to that area of San Ignacio where people plant uh, vegetables and all those things. So they take you to a river. I don't know if it is the Sumpul River, the one that they take you. So they have a guided tour. Right? So you see, we are not behind, right? If you go to the Cameron, it's not that I have been there, I have, I have learned. <laughs> if you go to the Cameroon, they also have the guided tours, right? So there are many hotels now that are offering a tours for people. And there are now a tour del cafe, there are a lot of tours here in El Salvador that people can take. And some of those tours are, are guided from the hotel, right? They are part of the hotel. Then you have flower arrangement, ironing service, laundry and ballet service, mail services that's similar to the one we were talking about before, about the courier services. But courier would be like bringing from far, right? That mail is, can be something more local. Massages, a massage, a massage. Room service 24 hour. You say, Can I have the breakfast here? Can you please bring me a couple of pupusas? 
to the room. <laughs> yeah. So that will be a room service, 24 hours. A shoe, shoes hiding service. I didn't look for it. What is shoes hiding? Let's check. Let's investigate. So that what is choose kind of service? Hmm. Ah, shoe shine. No, shoe shine. Yeah, shoe shine. No, shoe shine service. What is shoe shine service? You take your shoes, you put it out of your door. Somebody will pass, take your shoes, and clean them. Do you remember Cantinflas? The movie. Yeah. See, El Bolero de Raven. Ah, okay. So that yes, was... excellent. <laughs> uh -huh. So that was a, a, a shoe shine service, right? Okay, then we have a ticket service. If you want the hotel to buy the ticket of the plane for you, they can do it too. And this one, the transport and chauffeur driven limousine service. So if you want them to, to send you a limousine, Somewhere they will do it for you too. A torn down service that means <clears throat> I'm going to show you the picture later. This is, a, for example, when the maid get to your rooms, to your room and changes the bell. And they put, I don't know how they do it, but they do it fast and they clean the, 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 the bed and put everything in order. And that's torn down service. They ask you sometimes when you're going to stay there too long, they ask you, do you want me to change the bed? And if you say, no, no, it's okay, change it tomorrow. They leave it like that. But if you say yes, please, they do it, right? Of course, when you stay there just for one day, of course, they definitely will change it every day with every, every customer that arrives and leaves the hotel, they will make the turn down. But if you're staying there for, imagine I stayed in that hotel, I stayed uh, six weeks. So uh, there was something that she asked. If you want to use the towel again, leave it hanging, right? If you don't want to use it again, throw it on the floor. So that was like the, 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 the what she used to know if she had to take the towel and wash it. But I said, in my house, I don't wash my towel every day. So why am I going to wash the towel in the hotel every day? And we're trying to help the planet, right? To save a little water. So I said, like, no. So no, I sometimes hang it. And after a couple of days, I'm like, okay, wash it, right? But that is part of the torn down service. So they clean the area and they fix everything. Sometimes they were checking the air conditioning because we were like this crazy. For them, that was natural, right? That was normal. But for us, it was like we were totally frozen, but they were happy. They were nice. So this is uh, the moment when the person goes also and checks the lights, check the air conditioning or the, the heating whatever is necessary to check in the in the room or if you have problems with the water with the hot water you don't know how to put it i had problems in one hotel that i didn't know how to lower the temperature of the water it was, i took a shower one day with the water boiling it was like Ugh. it was the outside it was very cold but the water was holy definitely hot until another uh, colleague from Colombia got there and she said, no, don't worry, you do this and this. And then she fixed it and I was like, next day I took a shower with normal water, not too hot, no cold, right? That, that is something that this uh, the maid also does for you. And then you have the, back, the ballet packing. When you get to the hotel, if you're taking your car, you just give the key to the boy and he takes your car to park it somewhere, right? 
I don't know if you have a questions about any any of the words here. Any question? Yeah. In, in the okay. old services, the hotel. I understand uh, our hotel five stars. Mm -hmm. A hotel that is five stars will have everything. Yeah. As, as I told you, the hotel where I, one of the hotels where I was in that scholarship, it didn't have uh, um, breakfast. So no catering service. There was no catering service, no car rental service, no concert service, no doctor on call. Um, there was a laundry, but we had to go wash our own clothes. Nobody was going to pick up uh, our clothes to wash it, right? There was no excursions and guided tours, but they gave us a, a a map of the city. So you see, yeah, these are the places that you can visit. You can go there, look at the colors of the, the because the bus, the, the bus is going to different areas. They were pointed in different colors, like orange, red, green, blue, yellow. They say, if you want to take, if you want, want to go to Walmart, take the yellow bus, it will take you. If you want to go to this place, go green, take the green bus. And they were giving the instructions, but there was no this, right? I don't know how many stars that hotel had. I don't know, but it didn't have many of these services. Mm -mm. No ironing service either, no flower arrangement service, no massage. But there was a gym, right? Between the, the, the that, that, is, that thing is not included in the in the services that is included in the facilities it, what would be the difference the services are the things that the hotel um, can offer that some people can do for you but in the facilities we will find some extra things that are a plus for the hotel that they offer to you and the hotel had a sauna it had a, a swimming pool it had a gym it had a pool, so I was learning to play pool, right? So it had many things, but it didn't include many others. So it was more like um, a vacation hotel, but for example, if you say, I want to stay in a hotel, but I don't want to spend too much, yeah? So I want to stay in a hotel, like have the experience of staying in a hotel, that is near the city, near the, 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 the other big hotels where I want to go play gambling, but I don't want to pay more. Because there were any, in many other hotels that were very expensive, that were offering all these services, but they were more expensive, right? And the other one was cheaper, so, but people went there to, to, to sleep, to stay there, but they didn't want to spend more. That was the best option, right? <clears throat> but something that they really offered was this one, the torn down service mm. and the laundry, yeah? It was also a courier service and a mail service. Those were the things that, that the hotel offered. I want to show you a couple of pictures for you to see uh, this vocabulary represented in pictures. So we have the car rental, right? Ironing service, the torn down service, the concierge. You don't want to carry your things. El botón is right. So you have the concierge service, the laundry. So you can go wash. You have the, the, the washing machine and the dryer to, to keep your clothes ready and the catering service, right? Any questions related to services at the hotel? Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Está como de moda que tienen servicio de catering y que ofensí, ¿cómo se traduce eso? Catering tiene que ver con comida. 
servicios de comida que le ofrece, puede ser almuerzos, cenas, diferentes eh, tipos de comida. Ya le vamos a dar una traducción, pero no sé si en español no sé. Teacher, podría ser así como banquetes. Banquetería, sí. Sí. Eventos, los eventos de cátedra, sí, tiene que ver con banquetes. Teacher, eh, eh. Es incluso buffet. In some hotels, yes. Sí, el servicio de catering es. Ay, qué chistoso. Lo traducen como catering service, servicio de catering. O sea, que no. <risa> no. A ver, el diccionario. Ay, no. Pero en español. Food, ah, if you see food, provisional events. Uh -huh. Sí, pero sí, la palabra que ando buscando es esa, banquete. Right. Uh -huh. What were you saying, Carlos? No, es, uh, I think, uh, the buffet, the buffet. similar a uh, catering services. Yeah, also, some hotels offer a buffet or all, all you can eat. <laughs> And all you can eat, that's how they call it there. Right, and all you can eat, so you can go take all the food you want to eat, but they have a, a, a condition. You, get, you go, you can go get all the food that you want. If you eat a lot, you can go take food, or sit down, eat it, go for more, sit down, eat it, but never leave food on your, on your plate. Because if you are taking more food from the table, it's because you're going to eat it, right? So that is part of the of the compromise. That if you go take all the food you want, but you won't you won't eat it. You will eat it all. But yeah, the the buffet will be like another part of catering, right? Because you have the food there, and you go take your own food. Any other question over there? Question? No. Here, all you can eat is the camera, on the back. Yes. Yeah. All you can eat, all you can drink. Yeah. But not in every area. Oh, yes. But depend the. How do you say que te comprado? On how much you pay. How much you pay? Cuánto pago. Eh, mm -hmm. eh, I did put, did put on the list of phones. I don't know. Eh, yeah. color. A, a bracelet. Yeah, I have heard of that. Bracelet. bracelet. Uh -huh. they put depend, the, the, depend the color. Uh -huh. yeah. How do you say? Así. <laughs> That's the way it works. Uh -huh. That's the way it works, depending on the bracelet you're carrying. But the bracelet goes according to how much you pay, it, right? Something that I heard is that you cannot go to all the areas. It depends on your bracelet too, right? I, I want to go to the beach now, but your bracelet is green. No, you cannot. <laughs> so that, that is also a part of of the payment, right? It will depend on how much you pay it to see what are the things that you will be able to do. Okay, now I have a question for you here, check. What hotel services do you use when you travel? I already told you some of the ones that I have used because, because for me they were free, right? <clears throat> So what hotel services do you, uh, what hotel services do you use when you travel? Volunteer? Bed and breakfast. Okay. Breakfast. It's Mm -hmm. What else? Service at the room. Service at the room, okay. 
ballet, no ballet parking? No, or you prefer to go park your own car? What else? Remember that it's the truth is that much. What did you say? The truth is I don't travel too much. <laughs> no, me neither. Me neither. The, the, the trips that I have taken have been like, okay, go, 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 go to, go to this. Uh, do you want to participate in this scholarship? And it was like, mm, okay, yeah. I put all the papers, I made the, 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 the interview and I got it, I went. But it's like, um, of course, traveling is very expensive. And if you have the, uh, to take other people with you, it's, it's really, really hard, right? But for business, sometimes people have to travel, right? For business or so from work that they send you to, to, to the hotels because there is a night that you have to sleep somewhere and they send you to a hotel, right? Teacher, don't you remember? Teacher, yeah. don't you remember uh, a long time ago when you travel into departments here in El Salvador, eh, it has, or habían, como se dice? Habían, there was, it was, there was postales, like houses from a party, from a, como dice, personas particulares. Like and you the, say that? Like the, oh. like the B&B. &B. Okay, so you sleep there and, and take a dinner or just a breakfast, like frijolito, huevito, and then you go out to the play or, or the place you were you were planning. So that was very nice because it was it wasn't nothing special, but at the same time it was special because you you were at a house or a, a home. No sé si usted la recuerda. It's like I used to travel just uh, of the day, but I saw a couple of hostels in Chalatenango. In Chalatenango, there, there are some hostels where you can go, I don't know how much you pay. I don't know. That you can go stay there for the for the day or for the night and the next day you go back home. Okay. Now what is common is that people um, look for a house in the beach, right? And they go for a, for a day or two to stay at the beach. But we were looking just for curiosity and it's very expensive here in El Salvador. It's about $300 a night. Imagine, of course, it's a, it's a big house where you can go with all your family. It's cheaper than a hotel, right? That even if you think about $300 for a day, it's like, mm, I would think it twice, right? I can eat two week with $300. <laughs> so that, that, that's to think it twice, right? that it's of course it is important to know what services they can offer to us now we're going to practice the conversation there in your manual check you have uh, let me tell you the page page 39 go to page 39 39 yeah 39 in your manual you read the conversation and then you, you will practice it. I want to show you, I will take you better to the book by now. Let me, let me. I can just look at it. <laughs> I'm my god teacher. I'm creating the rooms. No, that's not. Okay, check accommodation. 
accommodation is what Anna was saying. Can be a place, so just a room in a hotel, can be a bed and breakfast, can be a hostel, where travelers can sleep and find other services. In other countries, you can find a motel, but here the motel has another connotation, right? So I will send you go to a motel. That's another story. But in other countries, a motel is also an accommodation. So that's a place where you can go pass the night and then you continue uh, the walk. But it's, uh, for example, in those areas where people are traveling, they go on the road and they are traveling, uh, people that like traveling to another state or to another country, they can find a motel, they sleep <laughs> there, and then they continue driving. Tell me, Carlos. Uh, how do you say uh, hotel de paso? That's a motel. What? That's a motel. That's a motel. Mm -hmm. ah. motel. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, I understand. Yeah. I understand uh, that's a motel in the United States is is the function. Uh -huh. But here is other here it's case. another thing. Here, <laughs> here it has a different connotation, right? So that's why I say I won't send you to a motel, but I can send you to a hostel, right? Here we have hostels that on the road, well, I have seen El Zorro Feliz. <laughs> That's all you can see on the road. Yeah, you will say yes, right? You can see it everywhere. But that's not for you to stay with your family, of course. So here in El Salvador, there is no place to stay in the middle of the night. Right, so if you're driving and it's late at night, you want to rest, you have to go to a hotel or look for a hostel because we don't have, maybe I would say, because we are so little that you can cross the whole country in one day, right, to be. But we do not have a place for people to go park the car and say, okay, now I can sleep and I will continue tomorrow, right? But in countries that are bigger, so people have to travel from one state to the other and it will take them no one day, but a week, they have those types of motels to stay. Here we have amenities. Amenities are the features of the hotel that are available for the guests. As I was telling you, right? the gym, the pool, a mini bar, a jacuzzi. Those are uh, examples of amenities. In some hotels, there is a common area. A common area that is uh, for you to go sit down, celebrate in case you are a group of people getting to the hotel. You have your room, but there is an area where it's common for everybody to go sit down, right? So if you want to go celebrate a birthday or something, it's, it's part of an amenity, right? For the things that the hotel can offer to you. Okay, well, let's go to the conversation now. And then you will go practice, right? Okay, let's repeat. Mike's travel agency, how can I help you? I don't hear you. Repeat after the teacher. Travel agency. Mark's travel agency. How can, How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. Good morning. Good morning. I need a reservation, need a reservation for a single room. room. I'm going reservation to travel to Costa I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. I'm going, I'm to, going travel to travel to Costa Rica, Rica on April, on April 14th. 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 Sure. May I have your name, please? Sure. Oh, may, may I have your name, name please? please? Mm -hmm. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Of, of course. course. I'm, I'm Rosa, Rosa Puentes. Puentes. 
Thank you, Mr. Puentes. Puentes. How long are you going to stay? Thank you, Mr. Puentes. How long are you going, are you to, going stay? to stay? I'm going to stay three days. I'm going, I'm going to, to stay, stay three, three days. days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or no smoking room? Are you going, are you to, going stay to stay in a smoking, in smoking or no smoking or room? Non-smoking, room. Non -smoking, non -smoking, please. Non-smoking, please. Non-smoking, please. Non-smoking, non please. Non please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Are you, are you going, to, going need to need the, the shuttle, shuttle service? service? Yes, please. Yes, please. The shuttle is like a van. It's not a taxi. Like the taxis we know here that are very small. It's like a van that takes you to the airport, right? It takes you to the, from the hotel to the airport or from the airport to the hotel. It's big, it's, it's, it's like, a, like an old van, yeah? Una así, como de las de las más o menos viejitas, right? That's a shuttle. And it takes not only one person at a time. For example, at the, at the, at the airport, they can get more than one person. So in a taxi, if you are traveling alone, you go alone in the taxi, right? But in a shuttle, no. If there is a person who's going to, to the hotel and there is another person that is there needing shuttle, the two people can go in the same shuttle. They can share, right? That's the, the shuttle service, and they take you from the hotel to the airport and from the airport to the hotel. That's this service. It's not a taxi. It's like a, like a taxi van, yeah, that will move you all the, the things that you may be careful. Okay, and now I'm going to be the agent to a Rosa, okay? Mark's travel agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Ms. Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non smoking, please. Are you going to need a shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay, now you are the agent. I am Rosa. Ready? Go. Mark's Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Rosa Fuentes. Thank you, Miss Fuentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking. Are you going to need a shuttle service? Okay. That's the conversation, you're going to go practice the conversation and then answer these questions about Rosa, right? Les voy a dejar homework hoy. Uh, homework, check this link. Se van a este link y hacen este ejercicio de su comprehension a phone call comprehension quiz. Es un ejercicio como este, ¿verdad? Listen to the conversation first, and then you do a couple of exercises related to the conversation that you listen. El otro también es un comprehension, that somebody calling it making a hotel reservation. Así para que practica el, el oídito, ya saben por, por derechos de, de, de YouTube no podemos ponerlos acá porque me van a montar. 
esto de la vista lo puse en mute, ¿verdad? No se puede. Pero ustedes en su tiempo libre, yo sé que no tienen mucho, pueden aprovechar, ¿verdad? De, 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 de hacer todos esos libros. Ok, vaya. I'm going to send you, pero voy a Teacher, would you enable the share screen option, please? Present. Benjamin. Present. Carlos Ernesto. Present. Carolina. Carolina. Present, teacher. Okay. Daniela María. Dani, Dani, are you here, Dani? No here, Dani. Daniela, hello, microphone. Dani, Dani, ¿será que anda todavía caminando? David Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Edwin. Present. Okay. Grace Mitchell. Present teacher, voy yo después. Sí, ya va, casi, casi. Ya llegó, ahí se me cambia el nombre, oye Grace. Porque su compu siempre me le pone el nombre. Teacher, yo creo que ya me, di, me había mencionado, pero aquí estoy. Ah, ya, ¿dónde estaba escondida? Pues. <risa> es que he ido a traer agua. Ah. <risa> Y yo, Dani, 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 Daniela, Daniela, ¿dónde has? <risa> Perdón. Hoy sí, ya la vimos. Ay, de la paz. Ay, de. Present teacher. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Isabel. Isabel. Present teacher. No está Isabel. Sí, yo estoy viendo y no me respondo. Jonathan. Teacher. Present. Hi, Grace. Grace, present, teacher. Es que me estaba cambiando. Ah, vaya. Mira, me ahí, estoy en casa. ahí se pone el nombre completo cuando pueda. Ah, vaya. Ahorita. Sí. <ríe> que siempre me, me le aparece así, chiquita. Vayan. Eh, Karen. Karen, ya. Present, teacher. Nice. Jonathan me dijo present, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 aquí estoy. Llega. Karen Janet, sí. Marina. Presente, teacher. Excelente. Marlene. Presente, teacher. Hilda. Presente. Excelente. Teresa de Jesús. Por ahí me dijo que estaba Teresa. Yuri. Yuri, Yuri. Present teacher. Ok. Ah, muy bien. Es, eh, Aristides. Present teacher. Ok. Brenda. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Ok. Teresa del Carmen. Nancy. Nancy, are you here today? Okay. Bueno, I'm going to make rooms. Yeah, Isabel. Finally, I I I hear you. Okay. Bye. I'm going to send you in pairs for nine groups. Okay. Let me see. 
anda todavía caminando. No, nadie, ¿verdad? Todos llegaron a su casita. Jonathan ya llegó. No. Ah, pero me ha quedado en chile. Pasha. There you go. What you're going to do right now is practice the conversation and answer the questions. Okay? Practice the conversation and answer the questions. There you go. Questions? You want to answer? Practice the conversation. Mm -hmm. Practice the conversation and answer the questions. I am. Malene, Ángel, los veo congelados. Me voy a mover a ver si así se logra ir. Malene me ha quedado congelada. Ahí está. Angel. Angel, Angel, check it. Vaya, si no se pueden ir, se pueden quedar aquí practicando hoy. Ok. Eh, let's switch. Ok, I'm going to uh, be at Mark's Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Ms. Puentes. How long, how long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking room, please. Are you, are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Very good. Okay. Uh, are you ready to answer the question? Yeah, so I, I am saying that we are four in the ah in the conversation, but is the team. Hello, teacher. I called you for uh, I'm alone. Por lo que veo, Marlene no pudo venirse. Me lo voy a llevar entonces. Okay, okay. Porque no sé qué le pasó a ella. A usted lo veía congelado también. Y ella logró unirse y después se salió de red. Va, me lo voy a llevar para otra parte. Thank you. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. 
Rosa needs double rooms. Double room, it is true or false? False. False. False, porque dijo double room. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, true or false? Rosa is going to stay for three days? Yes, three days. True. She's going to stay for three days, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Number three. Rosa is going to stay in a smoking room or a non-smoking room? Uh, non-smoking. Not smoking, please. Oh. That's true or false? False. Yeah, Rosa is going... Man, the teacher? Perdón. No. Okay. Rosa is going to rent a car at the, air, at the airport? Uh, yes. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, false. Y el churro? Of course. Thank you, Mr. Puentes. Thank you, Mr. Puentes. Mrs. Puentes. How, how long are you going to stay? I am going to stay three, three days. Are you going to stay a smoking or non smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay. Now? Uh, you, have you answered the questions already? Okay. Okay. Rosa needs a double room? No, no. it's false. It's false. False. Rosa is going to stay three days. Es como el lugar, pero que, que, que tenés como más opciones. Creo yo. Mm -hmm. Eh, otros tipos de servicio ah. ajá, exacto, exacto ajá, porque aquí te el ejemplo sí, porque Ay, es, se me es jean, ah. tiene jean, tiene minibar ajá, piscina, <risa> jacuzzi ajá, y tiene más que un que un hotel pequeño un, un motel como explicaba la, la teacher ¿Ya terminamos la actividad? Excelente, excelente. I'm going to take you back then. I can say the party is ready. Yeah. Let's see. Hoy no sé por qué siempre me aparece en el chiquito. Cuando lo veo, me aparece así grande. Hoy me aparecen todos en chiquito. Ahorita lo llamo. Señorita, se me quedó congelada. ¿Qué sé? No sé por qué se había. No sé por qué se había. Me, me saca de lo. De, eh, me saca el Inter. Me saco, me saca y me entra. Ay, y yo la vi que estaba allí, pero estaba congelada. <ríe> yo creo que tengo mala señal. <ríe> Bien. Pero eso pasa a veces cuando está algo nublado. Así. ¿A qué brisa está haciendo? Ay, oh, my God. One second. Everybody here. Number one, two, three. Got it. Basha, I will uh, let's check the answers. Teacher. Yeah. I have a question. <clears throat> uh, what is the mean shuttle service? Shuttle service. Shuttle service es como un taxi que se lo lleva del hotel al, al del hotel al, al aeropuerto o del aeropuerto al hotel. No lo anda por la ciudad, sino que solo es así, del hotel aeropuerto, aeropuerto, hotel. Ah, uh, ok. Por 
puede ser que le preguntan a ella si quiere el choro. Choro sí. service. Para, para irse de, de, desde el hotel hasta, 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 bueno, del aeropuerto al hotel y del hotel al aeropuerto. Ok. Thanks. Ok. Pasha. Nos vamos, aquí les voy a compartir yo un script. Se lo pego en el, en, no, vea, aquí en el zoom o el arco. O oh, sí. Es una conversation that we are going to with. Vamos a ver. Yo digo que se va aquí con el zoom. En el vía chat se lo voy a pegar. So, dice que vamos a ver. ¿Qué es? Ah, ah, pues sí. Check. <ríe> se ve bien largo. Sí, como que nunca te vi. Ahí está. Va. Che. Ay, que no me llegó toda. Bueno, se la voy a pegar. Eh. <ríe> si no se la llevó todo, porque es muy grande. Bueno, I'm going to paste it also in the, in the chat allá. In the chat of the class. Se ve hoy les escribieron, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver por dónde están. <ríe> Ay, qué barbaridad. De aquí estaban cerquita. Ahí está. Ahí les va la conversation. <coughs> We are going to read it. <coughs> okay, ready? I'm going to share it. Okay, good morning. We have the receptionist and the client. Later on, you will see R for receptionist and C for client, right? Good morning. Welcome to the Grand Woodward Hotel. Hi, good morning. I'd like to make a reservation for the third weekend in September. Do you have any vacancies or vacancies? Yes, sir. We have several rooms available for that particular weekend. And what is the exact date of your arrival? The 24th. How long will you be staying? I'll be staying for two nights. How many people is the reservation for? There will be two of us. And would you like a room with twin bells or a double bell? A double bell, please. Great. And would you prefer to have a room with a view of the ocean? If that type of room is available, I would love to have an ocean view. What's the rate of the room? Your room is $590 per night. $590 feels worth it. And now, what name will the reservation be listed under? Charles Hanikam. Could you spell your last name for me, please? Sure. H-A-N-M-I-G-H-A-M. And is there a phone number where you can be contacted? Yes. My cell phone number is 555-26386. Great. Now, I'll need your credit card information to reserve the, the room for you. What type of card is it? Visa. The number is 987654321. Okay. Del 9 al 1. 
And what is the name of the card holder? Charles H. Hannigan. All right, Mr. Hannigan, your reservation has been made for the 24th of September for a room with a double bed and view of the ocean. Check-in is at two o'clock. If you have any other questions, please do not hesitate to call us. Great, thank you so much. My pleasure. We'll see you in September, Mr. Hannigan. Have a nice day. Okay, I'm going to send you, well, I don't know if you have any questions here regarding to the vocabulary. <clears throat> questions? Teacher, no. what's, the, what's the meaning? What's the meaning? Pleasure. A pleasure, es un pleasure. Perdón, teacher, no escuché. Placer. Ah, es un placer. Thank you. That's a pleasure. Carl Holder. Carl Holder es el dueño de la tarjeta. Porque es del Mr. Hunt. Okay. Está pagando con tarjeta, me imagino que de crédito. Yeah, so okay. the is the the Any other question? Yes, teacher. Este, solo que suba un poquito porque es la última. Una, es una. Ahí, ajá. Y donde dice, please do not. Ahí no sé cómo se pronuncia. Es y. Es try to call of, esa palabra no dude no dude y se pronuncia hesitate 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 He hesitate mm -hmm. please okay, thank you teacher hesitate mm -hmm. no dude en llamarnos right Ay. no dude en llamarnos hesitate please do not hesitate to call us any other question? A ver, le voy a hacer un examen, pero oral. Okay. How many days is Mr. Hannigan staying at the hotel? Three days and two nights. Mm -hmm. He will be staying. How much is he going to pay for the room? How much is he going to pay for the room? 500. 500. 500. Right? Yes. Will will he ask for a will he ask for a single bed or a double bed? Double bed. Double. Double bed. Double bed. Who is the car holder? Who is the car? Charge charge H Hannigan. Mm -hmm. What type of car does he have? Visa. A visa. It's a visa card. Yes. Okay. One more thing. How does he spell his last name? How does he spell his last name? H A A I I G A Yeah. 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 yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then I can feel that you are active. Okay, vamos a ver. What time is checking? At two o'clock. At two o'clock. When is the reservation for? 24 of September. For the 24th of September. How many people are going to, to go? Two people. Two, Two people. people. Okay, very good. Very nice. Very nice. Bye. 
check. I'm going to send you to practice the conversation a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. That after you will practice this like very, very fast. So les voy a dar como que um, cinco minutos. Que se van con los mismos compañeros. Por eso les voy a dejar con los mismos. Allá van. Benjamin. Vamos a ver. Daniela me quedó solita. Hmm. Ahí ve, ¿dónde está? Me ha quedado Benjamin aquí afuera, Alicia, Marlene, Benjamin, Ana, Salchichón. Cheque si se logra unir. No me la deja, Malene. Cheque, check. Que se me ha quedado solito allá, Benjamin. No, verdad, no me la deja. Vamos a mover a Benjamin entonces. Me saca, teacher, a mí. No la deja, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No la deja, sí, estoy bien. Hi, good morning. I'd like to make a conversation for the third weekend in December. Do you have any vacancies? Vacancies? Vacancies. Vacancies. Yes, sir. We have several rooms available. Ay, no me acuerdo cómo se dice esa palabra. Av 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 available. Av available. Available. Available for that particular weekend. And what is the exact date of your arrival? The 24th. How long will you be staying? You'll be staying for tonight. Nice. How many people, pardon, how many people is the reservation for? There will be two of us. And would you like a room with twins bed or a W double B bed? Pardon. A double bed, please. Great. And would you prefer to have a room with a view in the ocean? If the type of room is available, I would love to have an ocean view. What's the rate for the room? Ahí está en el de WhatsApp. Ahorita lo sí. voy a dejar. Quiero acá. ver, íbamos en... Yes. Ah, pues sí. Ahorita lo descargo, déjame un segundito. Va, listo, ya lo descargué. Va. Va. Íbamos en el de nombre, ¿verdad? No, eh, my cell phone. Ah, ok, de cell phone. Usted... Okay, yes, my cell phone is, my cell phone number is 555-26386. Great. Now, I need your credit card information to reserve the room for you. What type of 
card is it? A visa. The number is nine eight seven six five four three two one. Um. And what and what is the name of the car holder? Charles Hannigan. There will be two off. Uh, uh, how many how many people is the reservation for? Huh? Uh, there will be two of oh. And would you like a room? With twin bells or a double bell? Uh, uh, a double bell, please. Great. And would you prefer a room with a view of ocean, of the ocean? Is is that pay a room is a bailable? A bailable. A bailable. I would love to have an, an ocean view uh, was the right for the room. Um, your room is $590 night. Now, what name will the reservation be listed under? Uh, Charlie's. Charlie. Under. Nineteen dollars per night. No, what night will the reservation be listed on? Be listed, be listed under Charles Hannigan. Could you repeat your last name for me, please? Sure. H A N N I G H A N. M is there a home number where where you can be contacted? Yes, my cell phone number is five five two six three eight six. Great. Now I need your great car information to reserve the room for you. What type of the cars it it? And uh, what is the name of the car holder? Charles A. Hannigan. All right, Mr. Hannigan. Your reservation has been made for the 24th of September for a room with a double bed and view of the ocean. Checking is at two o'clock. If you have any other question, please do not hesitate to call us. Great, thank you so much. My pleasure. We'll see you in September, Mr. Hannigan. I'm back. Okay. about to come, nice, nice. Okay, I'm going to share, I'm going to share the screen, check. There are a couple of things that you're going to do right now. I'm going to send you to the rooms again that uh, in groups, right? And I'm going to change groups. You're going to write a checklist of services that you find in an essential plan for the next trip, yeah? And then you will compare with your partners. First, you write your list, 
yeah, write a checklist about the types of services and amenities that you need for your trip, for your next trip. You can use words from the vocabulary that we were practicing for, and then get ready to check. You are in your, in your, bueno, vamos normalmente. Let's go, go, go to the manual. Better. In your manual, first, you look at the pictures. Remember the vocabulary we were checking at the beginning. We have the shuttle service, single room, wake up call. Hey, that's another thing. If you if you fall, if you have to get up early the next day, but you think you will fall asleep. You can ask in the reception desk that they call you to wake you up. The Wi Fi internet, business center, fridge in the room, safe laundry service. Okay, what is number one? What's number one? Wake up call. Wake up. Wake up to the end. Wake up. Wake up pool. Mm -hmm. Laundry service. Laundry service. The second one. Laundry service. Fridge in the room. Fridge in the room. In the room. Fridge in the room. Mm -hmm. Rich. Business center. Business center. Okay. What about number five? Safe. 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 Six single room. Single room. Seven. Shout out service. service. And shuttle. Number eight. Two. Wi-Fi internet. Hey, Wi-Fi, yeah, Wi-Fi internet. Yes, Wi-Fi internet, very good. Bye. Now that you have like the review of the book, right, for you to refresh, make your list. What, uh, write a checklist about the types of services and amenities you need for your next trip. What type of services and amenities do you need for your next trip? Teacher, I have a question. What is the meaning amenities? Amenities son estas cosas, como por ejemplo, single room, a jacuzzi, a swimming pool, esos son amenities. Have service to the room, the, the, the cleaning, right? All those are services. El, el, ¿Cómo se llama? El parking, ¿vale? Parking. Ya todos esos son services. Pero cuando le ofrecen, por ejemplo, las cosas que el hotel tiene como un plus, esas son las amenities. ¿Ya? Si tiene un common place for everybody to meet, with extra, the jacuzzi, the gym, mm -hmm. those are amenities.
Okay, are you ready? Ready, ready? Yes, not yet. I'm going to send you with a partner. Check, check the things that you will do. First, you will compare your lists, right? First, you will compare your lists. And then, after you have compared your lists, you're going to make a mini conversation where you want to make a hotel reservation. No la van a hacer tan larga como con la que les compartí, ¿verdad? Sino que ahí pidan un par de cosas de las que tienen ahí en las, en, en las checklists que acaban de hacer. ¿Listos? Pero lo voy a cambiar porque ya mucho. Ya necesitan cambiar de partner. Vamos a ver. Allá vamos. Ready? Remember, first, compare your checklist. And second, go for a conversation where you need to make a hotel reservation. Ready? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Yes, teacher. Listo, vea. Pues sí, para oírlo. <laughs> Goodbye, teacher. <laughs> bye, goodbye. Pasha, bye. No sabe, try to join, join, join. Karen no se ha encontrado, sí. Vamos a ver para que se una Karen. Ahí de todavía la veo por aquí. Pero tiene que unirse a Ide y Karen. Que Carlos está solito. Ese sería el, el, el checklist que tendríamos que hacer. Mm -hmm. Ok, but my checklist is the room with the with view for the, from the ocean, el wake up call, el parking lot. Eh, en esa me quedé cuando la teacher nos mandó al grupo. <laughs> ¿Cuál era Porque... la primera? <laughs> La que yo puse es uh, room with view of the ocean. Pero oh. esa, esa view of the ocean es con vista al océano, ¿verdad? Exacto, un hotel de playa. <risa> esa no la necesita. El muchacho. Ya <risa> <risa> dice exigen de, de, de custom. <risa> pues sí, ¿verdad? Sí se puede. <risa> el parqueo es lo más importante porque si no, ¿dónde deja el bus uno? <risa> Pero entonces pide el shuttle service. Yes. <risa> Para no llevar el carro. Ajá. Ay, ¿qué va a ser aquí, verdad, en el país? Ajá, no sí. shuttle service. Ah, no. ah, aquí en el país. Ajá. Sí. O sea, pues no puede ser eso. Renta car, eh, service or room sería otro. Service the rooms. Sí, servicio al cuarto. Mm. Mm -hmm. eh, lo que está pensando es. Hi, 
Carl Spence me dijo que se decía eh, oh. Carl Payments. Payments. Tarjeta, pago de tarjeta. Payments. Sí. También podría ser el otro de Spa Service. <risa> Bitcoin Payment. <risa> Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Pepe. Bitcoin, Pepe. Eso pregunta un hijo. ¿Pasar con Bitcoin? No. Pero bueno. El Spa Service, sí, ¿verdad? ¿El cuál? Spa Service. Spa. Allí no sería service porque el Spa es un amenity, no un service. Ah, ok. Ahí solo sería Spa. Por ejemplo, el Spa, el gym, la piscina, la swimming pool. Esos no son services, sino que son amenities. Ah, ok. Entonces, otro tendría que ser, déjame ver. Bueno, laundry. Vamos, estamos colocando diferente a los que ya teníamos arriba para, para hacerlo ah, un poquito más variado. Ok. Y ahí se van ya a la conversation, ¿verdad? Para que... Yes. Yes, no, no tiene que ser, tiene que ser la misma estructura, pero no tan larga, ¿verdad? Sí, no, no tan larga, no tan larga. Ahí pidan un, 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 una dos cosas nada más. ¿verdad? Va. Ok, copiadito. Ahorita vamos a comenzar el. Excelente. Ya. Ahí no he ido. Súper bonito. Muy bonito. Y, y no, en las hojas no sale muy caro. En serio. Eh. Sale como 80 dólares la noche. Ah, ya con ¿más almuerzo, cuánto? 80 más o menos. Ya la, el, con almuerzo incluido. Uno solo paga el, el desayuno, Ajá. pero son baratos. Ajá, qué bien. ¿80 por familia o por persona? No, por persona. <risa> pero los niños, los niños menores de 5 años no pagan. Ok. Pero súper, yo no me arrepiento. Bien bonito. El año pasado hicimos un viaje familiar y fue de lo mejor. Muy bonito. Qué bien. Sí. O sea, si bueno. se pudiera pagar los dos días y las, los tres días y dos noches es mejor. Uh -huh. Y comida es exagerado. Los platos son... Y es a la carta. O sea, es comida a la carta. Uno pide... Ah, qué bien. Uh -huh. Ahí en el de Cameron. No. No, en el, en las hojas. En el de hojas. Ah, ahí es, es el. ¿Y este dónde queda? En la costa. Ah, ya. Uh -huh. Antes de la puntilla, sí, yo. Yo no conozco mucho de playa, pero así dice. Entonces, acabar de la playa las hojas. Bien bonito. Bien. Bueno, yo en mi checklist, este, me, podría, me gustaría poner como laundry no sé cómo. Uh -huh. como servicio de lavandería uh -huh. laundry service uh -huh. Me perdieron. Se me quedaron cachados. ¿Cómo vamos? Eh, eh, the, the begin, the conversation. Le finí. Le finí. <risa> Iniciando. Eso. A pues me lo llevo ya. Así tienen tiempo para compartir. Vaya, they just come and then we cheer. Aprovecharon que estaban ustedes dos aquí para practicar, señoritas. Aide, ya vamos llegando. Oye, ya vamos llegando. 
Ya vamos llegando al, al ejercicio que quería ver. Ya vamos a ver. Quiero ver. Hello. Hello. Come. Yes. Come. Good. Good, good. Quiero ver una cosa. Hoy es 23. Marlene le toca quedarse. Marlene. Teacher, disculpe la pregunta. ¿Este módulo termina la otra semana? Y terminamos el 29, no sé cuándo, 29. Lunes. Sí, el lunes terminamos. ¿Dónde? Lunes. Cuando vamos a llenar la, la nota de satisfacción, teacher. Ya les voy a decir de eso. Friday. No, Monday. Que se llena el último día. En teacher. Are we going to stay together for the next model? I don't know. I don't know yet. The teacher does a matic cosito. Cuando ya hay fecha, le puso. Ahora ya mandaron los formularios a los correos para que los enviemos fecha límite 29 de noviembre. Y fecha tentativa de inicio 17 de enero del 2022. Ok, ok. Entonces, módulo, no me... módulo 5. <ríe> módulo 5. Porque que no me lo mandaron. O 4, no sé en qué módulo estamos. No, 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 este es el 3, vamos a ir al 4. Ah, pues al 4, ajá, al 4. En Santa Uno. a mí no me lo mandaron. ¿Quién no lo mandaron? <ríe> a Luis. El correo, ¿no? ajá. Sí, van ah, por pues partes no a veces, Luis. Van por <risa> partes, no todos se los mandan el mismo día. Ah, sí. Ah, pues Pero en el módulo pasado a mí me lo mandaron de primero. Quiere decir que hoy no pasé. A los, <risa> a los VIP no los mandan de primero y a los sí, otros. Sí. Ahorita aparece un oyente. Ya me afligió. <risa> que ahorita aparece como oyente. Pues ya va a llegar, sé que ahorita está bien lejos en la lista. Ya se lo van a mandar. Sí, sí. Si esperemos no, no se lo mandan esta semana pregunte ok teacher bueno, bueno no vaya a ir a la tierra, tampoco vea pero si no lo mando mañana digamos pregunte para ver qué, qué, qué. ok Ay, Thank you, tengo un comercial antes de escuchar un par de conversations y es este hoy les empezó a caer por correo por whatsapp la, la información para llenar eh, la carta de satisfacción, ¿verdad? Todavía no. Se acaba. No, no, la no, carta no, teacher, solo el correo de, de requisitos para el cuarto módulo. Ah, ok, ok. Todavía no, bueno, ya les va a llegar dentro de un par, si no mañana pasado, les llega el link para el llenado de la encuesta de satisfacción. Ya saben ustedes que ese link no lo llenan solitos, ¿verdad? Esto eh, lo llenamos juntos y lo llenamos el último día en clase. Así es que aunque le llegue a su WhatsApp, le llegue a su correo, lea detenidamente toda la información y ahí va a ver qué dice, no lo llenen solo. Y se, llene, se llena el último día con su facilitador, ¿verdad? Así es que lo estaremos llenando el lunes. Nos toca empezar a las 8.45 a llenar ese documento. Así es que, aunque le piquen las manos por llenarlo, no. ¿Verdad? No. Porque lo llenamos juntos el último. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. ¿No question? No. Ok. Vaya, who will be my volunteer to share the conversation? To share, Rosita and I. Okay, sure. Can I share the screen? Sure. Okay.
So, Rosita, I finished. So, you're going to start. Okay. Rosita's resort, how, how can I help you? Good afternoon. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Mexico on December 15th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am, I'm Aristide Cepeda. Thank you, Mr. Cepeda. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay a week. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Excellent. Thank you. One more volunteer. <laughs> I see roses. Yeah, Volunteer of it. Big time teacher. Uh -huh. Who will be the big uh, uh, I'm going to let Rosita choose them. Okay. Um, Grace? Grace. Grace, Grace. Yes, teacher. En mi grupo no alcanzamos a hablar de, de la conversation. La hicimos en español, teacher. Escoja otra víctima. Ay. Eh, Carlos Ernesto. Carlos. Sí, teacher, nosotros estamos, bueno, íbamos por la tercera, cuarta línea. Entonces, vamos a hacer una cosa. Vamos a pasar a Chendas y mañana en el review de la clase de hoy, les voy a dar chance para que me presenten unos cuantos grupos. Ay. Ok, teacher. Excelente. Vamos a ver quién es. Ah, hoy Marlene, le dije, ¿verdad? Marlene se queda conmigo, 23. Mañana le toca a Rosy. Rosy ya se quedó. ¿Con qué cambió, Rosy? Con Marina. Con Marina, creo. Ah, pues Marina se prepara para mañana, miércoles 24, el jueves Teresa de Jesús, para el viernes estaba Walter. Y el lunes cerramos con Isabel, que cambió con Yuri. No, me olvidaba. <ríe> Ahí están todos esos cambios guardados en la memoria. Ok, vamos a ver. Checking, checking. Análisis. Present. Ángel Antonio. Present. ¿Sí? Present. Carlos Ernesto. Present. Carolina. Carolina. Daniela. Daniela. ¿Quién fue Daniela? David. Present, teacher. Edwin. Present. Grace. Grace, Grace. Present teacher. Aide. Present teacher. Abel. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present teacher. Karin Janet. Present teacher. Marina. Present teacher. Marlene. Marlene. Marlene, Marlene, Marlene. Present teacher. Entonces, ya está, por ahora estoy molestando. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Teresa de Jesús. Teresa de Jesús. Yuri. Present teacher. Present teacher. Brenda. Luis Mauricio. Present 
estaba revisando el correo y aún no me cayó, pero me cayó el de la promoción de inscribirme al al, al que es presencial. ¿De qué Entonces, hora? no. ¿De qué horas a qué horas? En el de 6 a 8 de la mañana, pero es presencial y yo presencial no puedo. No logra llegar desde Aguachapán. No. <risa> no Luis, a mí me cayó ese también, pero me, hoy me mandaron el, el otro para, para el, este que está. Me ah, pues ya, lo van a mandar Luis entonces. Ok, ya me preocupó bastante porque a todos les ha caído y a mí no. <risa> ya lo quiere llenar por eso. Pero es que acuérdese lo que le digo, que usted está al final en la lista. Entonces, si va en orden de lista, ya le va a llenar. Y eso sí. Pero ya casi terminar. Oh, <ríe> pues, teacher, pero de mañana. Uh, I am almost uh, last and mm -hmm. I already have I already have the mail. You Don't see? That to me. <laughs> <laughs> you see? <laughs> okay. <laughs> el, 29, el 29 me despido entonces. No, cename. Bueno, yo le voy a escribir a Elena y le voy a preguntar qué, qué, qué. Dicharon de ir por orden porque a mí no me ha caído. Tranquilo, Luis. Yo eso pienso. Acuérdense que también a veces se van por empresa, ¿verdad? Vale. Ya le... Sí, ya no se va a desvelar, Luis. Eso sí. No le ha llegado arroz. No, no se preocupe, ya le va a llegar juntos. Ok, ok, ok. Mañana, <laughs> ma mañana, mañana. I'm waiting, the, <laughs> I'm waiting for this. <laughs> ok. Bye. 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 Mañana vamos a hablar de la plataforma. Ok. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you. Okay. Vamos, señorita Marlene. Do you have any questions? Bueno, que no vi toda la clase ahora, teacher, porque a ver que me estuvo sacando el inter. Estuve a pausa, o sea. Es que quería trabajar lo, lo que ellos estuvieron haciendo en los room, pero todavía no lo he terminado. Bueno, me metí en ese tiempo también a la plataforma avanzar. Okay. Lo otro es que en las 17... En la, en la tarea 17, ahí nos piden go y tú no hay que, ¿verdad? que pongamos las oraciones y no hay que más. Ya, ay, ya me salí de aquí. Sí, ahí veo que dice complete the sentences using the form of be going to. Mañana vamos a hablar del be going to, ¿verdad? porque es la clase de mañana. La de hoy está fácil, ya vio, ¿verdad? Sí, yeah, ya la hice. <risa> Aprovechando que me sacaba el inter. Sí, está bien. No, no entendí lo de ahora mucho, le estoy sincera, porque por eso de los cortes, de que estuvimos hablando de los sí, hoteles. Estuvimos hablando de hotel services. De hotel services that we can, that we, all, that we want to use when we go on a trip. For example, if you have to go to a trip in another country and you need to use a hotel, eh, what services or what amenities do you want in the hotel? For example, if you say, I want uh, laundry, right? Laundry service 
shuttle service para que la lleve de lo, del aeropuerto al hotel y después del hotel al aeropuerto de regreso. That's the shuttle service. El laundry que tenga donde lavar la ropa, ¿verdad? Ya sea que, que, que usted la lave o que se la lleven a lavar. Cualquiera de las dos cosas. Puede también pedir el Wi-Fi connection, Wi-Fi to the internet connection. Eso sería otro, otro service. Eh, aparte, podría pedir es safe, la caja de seguridad. Or if you have a, if you want a refrigerator in the, in the room, if you want them to wake you up, right? For example, if you say, mire, yo tengo que estar a las cinco de la mañana en el aeropuerto, por favor, llámeme y despierten, right? That would be a wake up call. La wake up call es eso, que me llaman para despertarla, así como, no sé si usted se acuerda, Hace un hace tiempo, Antel daba ese servicio que le llamaba para despertarme. <ríe> Pero pues de hoy en el hotel, cuando usted va al hotel, puede pedir este servicio. Yo no me voy a despertar. Usted, por favor. Uh -huh. El laundry service. You need a, a washing machine. The hotels have a washing machine and a dryer. So you can go wash your clothes and then you pass it to the dryer and you take it ready. That's the, the, the laundry service. There is a, a, a fridge in the room in some hotels, especially uh, here, there are, uh, here in El Salvador, there are a couple of them where you can take your own food and you have a refrigerator. In some places, it's a mini refrigerator, but in others, it's a, it's a big refrigerator where you can keep your food. In this business center, este es un lugar donde hay computadoras con free Wi-Fi. Entonces, si usted no anda cargando su propia laptop, se puede ir a este business center y ahí perfectamente puede trabajar. O si usted necesita conectarse, comunicarse con alguien a través de internet, Aquí, ¿verdad? Lo puede hacer porque las computadoras están disponibles y con Wi-Fi Connection. Y eso es como parte del servicio que ofrece el hotel sin cargo, pero es por tiempo limitado, o sea, tiene una hora. Okay. Una hora ocupa la computadora y después se va porque otra persona va a querer ocuparla, ¿verdad? Entonces, este es el business center. Eh, Wi-Fi connection, este sí, ¿verdad? Y el shuttle service es este. Ese es como un, no es un taxi chiquito, es como un tipo van que la lleva del aeropuerto al hotel y del hotel al aeropuerto. Es este, el shuttle, el shuttle service. Single room es un cuarto que tiene solamente una cama. Es una single bed, es una cama así pequeña. ¿Verdad? La que encuentra en el single room. Cuando usted dice double bed, son dos camas individuales, una, o sea, las dos camas individuales dentro del mismo, del mismo room. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, si usted va con su esposo y un niño, por decir algo, en la otra cama está allí en el mismo room para el niño. ¿Verdad? Entonces, este es eso sería un double room, es un, es un room con dos uh -huh. Pero el single room es un room con una cama, nada más. Ajá, that's a single bed, a single room and a single bed. Y este es el safe, que es la caja de seguridad. No sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta. Ay, teacher. Y con lo que vimos ayer, que también tuve problemas, que eran con los shul y no sé qué más. Shul. Lo voy a buscar en eso. Shul y shul. Ajá, ajá. 
porque como ya después me puso conectando y conectando y no podía ingresarla. Ah, ya nos fuimos va should usamos should uh -huh. podemos dar una sugerencia ya estamos terminando la unidad 3 vamos a dónde está la estructura esta cuando nosotros estamos hablando o queriendo dar una sugerencia, usamos should o shouldn't. ¿Por qué podemos dar una sugerencia en forma positiva o, o negativa? Vamos a ver, quiero el pencil. No me quiere dar el pencil. Vale, you say should. Should. La, la O no suena y la L tampoco. Should, should. should. You, the word should answer my good morning greeting. Yeah, should answer my good morning greeting. El should lo usamos cuando queremos dar una sugerencia o una recomendación. ¿Verdad? ¿Qué es lo que debe hacer? El should answer my good morning. Linda should greet with a, with a firm handshake. She should greet. She should. The supervisor should use a greeting. Yes. Should. You should say, please. Por ejemplo, si usted tiene una reunión fuera de, 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 del país, por decir algo, yo diría, you should make a hotel reservation. Okay? You should buy a ticket a plane ticket to travel. You should take some money with you. You should get a credit card to take with you. Yeah? Eso es en afirmative. Pero si usted va a hacer una oración en negativa, una sugerencia de algo que no, ¿verdad? porque también puede hacer sugerencias usando positive, usando negative. So you say, Darío should not use my many emojis. Darío ocupa muchos emojis. So he should not use many emojis in his emails. Helen should not speak so loudly. Helen habla bien fuerte. So she should not speak so loudly, should not. Gabriel should not tell sexist jokes. Él es bien bromista. Y el tipo de bromas que dice, uh -huh, are very sexist. So he should not tell sexist jokes. Your boss should not shout. El jefe le grita, entonces you say no, your boss should not shout. O shouldn't shout, if, si quiere hacer la contraction. We use a shouldn't. La diferencia es entre should, entre should not y shouldn't, es que cuando no ocupa la contraction es como más fuerte. Como que uh -huh. más énfasis, ¿verdad? Que cuando ocupa una contraction. Darío shouldn't use many emojis. Pero si usted dice should not use many emojis, es como un poco más, más fuerte y aún hasta la intonation cambia. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. No sé si le queda claro allí. Sí, en eso me había quedado la duda que cuando lo vamos a utilizar, pero ya me aclaró usted que este, cuando damos una sugerencia. Exacto, exacto. Este es el caso de una sugerencia. Gracias, teacher. A la orden. Gracias. Vaya, pues, puedes avanzar entonces y nos vemos mañana. Mañana vamos con el future. Going. Uh -huh.
Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Gracias. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.